Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will integrate Active Directory with our Sophos XG firewall. In order to proceed with the configuration, just let me add a note. There are two steps to integrate Active Directory with our Sophos XG firewall. Step number one is to add Active Directory server in our firewall and step number two is to import users and group from the server which we have added means importing users and group from active directory server to our firewall let's begin with the configuration so in order to begin with the configuration the very first you will go to the authentication from here going to authentication in the first tab that is servers you will click on add button to add the active directory server so starting from the first option the server type you will just click this it will open a menu for you where we can see multiple authentication servers that is ldap server active directory radius server tacax e directory since we are going to integrate Active Directory with our Sophos XG firewall, we will choose the option Active Directory. Moving on, it is asking for server name. You can give anything, whatever you want. I will give AD server, that is Active Directory server. IP. Let me take you to the network design. This is our network design and in this we have said that our active directory ip address will be 10.1.1.50 and i have built up an active directory as well guys what i will do is th this is our active directory ad server i will be putting a link in the description box uh, this link will be covering a tutorial where i have installed active directory on windows server 2019 i have over there given a brief about organizational units objects like user group assigning a user to a group this everything is covered with hands-on labs so those who don't have exposure to active directory or those who have a limited knowledge can gain a full expertise level over there they will be in the position to build up the active directory server so moving on i will put the ip address that is 10.1.1.50 the next option is connection security we will choose plain text and the port will be coming to 389 it will change to 389 this is the port which we require for the integration then it is asking for netbios name just let me take you to the active directory over here on the ad server i will be opening server manager clicking on tools over here i will open active directory users and computers I will just right click on my domain and go to properties over here I can see the domain name is noonetworks.com and the netbios I will give noor networks the netbios we will give no network this is my domain whatever domain you are configuring it will be as per your domain name coming to the username uh, guys over here it is highly recommended that whenever you are doing an integration you must use the service account since we are doing a lab over here we will be using an administrator account but whenever you are doing a deployment in a real environment it is highly recommended you use a service account over here so i will put the credentials for administrator user and the password i have entered over here the next options this display name attribute and email address attribute are optional so i will leave it as it is by default moving on it is asking me for domain name going to active directory server you can see the domain name is noonetworks.com our this is our active directory server server manager dashboard and over here also you can see from here also you can see that the domain is noonetworks.com so coming to the Sophos firewall interface over here, I will give the username as noornetworks.com. Coming to the search queries. So 
to gain this information again we will move to the active directory server over here and then we will open a command prompt in the command prompt you will give a command ds query space user space name and administrator your administrator username and hit enter now over here it will give you the required information this you have to copy dc equal to new networks dc equal to com and we will be one second let me just copy dc dc equal to use uh, dc equal to new networks comma dc equal to com this we have copied and in the sofas over here you will click on add button over here in the search queries and over here you will simply paste the information and click on add before you save this just test the connection so it is saying that device ad server connectivity test successful so you will save it now it is successful so you will save it now the, we have completed here step number one that is we have successfully added the active directory server step number two is to import the users and groups on the same page over here you will find three options the option number one you can see it is import the second one is edit and the third is delete before moving on to step number two i need to show you something see over here in the users you will see there is nothing it's totally blank there are no records in group you can see there are only three pre-configured group that is open group clientless open group and guest group the reason to show is that when you will be importing the groups and users you will find the data over here in the groups you will find the groups so again moving on to the server tab over here you will click on this import button it will open a wizard for you let me just maximize this to have a better visibility now the import group wizard is open for you you will click on start over here here it is asking for base dn this will be the same detail which we have fetched from our active directory that is dc equal to no networks and dc equal to com again i repeat whatever domain you are configuring you have to put that detail i have configured my domain name as no networks.com if let's say for example you have configured lab.local then it will be like dc equal to lab comma dc equal to local for me it will be dc equal to no networks comma dc equal to com and i will click on next over here you have to be a bit careful this is saying you that what all groups you want to import so over here just let me again go to the active directory and I will minimize this command prompt. I will open Active Directory Users and Group page, Active Directory Users and Computers. I will expand this. And you will see that I have created an organizational unit with uh, two child OUs, IT and Management. And in IT, have a, I have a Users and Group. In Management, also, I have a Users and Group. Then in the User, object in this object even in this object i have some group uh, users like it admin it consultant it programmer security admin so my requirement is i need this users object and this ou no, no network full ou with the child ou to be imported in my active directory although you can just simply select this and everything from the active directory all those objects will be imported but it is of no use for us to be very honest so what we will do uh, what is the main use this is user and this new network the user object and this new network OU these are of important for to us so I have chosen this both the rest all I have left after choosing the groups as per your requirement what you are going to do is you will simply click on next over here it is asking the surfing quota access time bandwidth policy network traffic you will keep all this thing as default and you will click on next over here it is asking you to review the selection whatever things you have selected till now it is showing you to review 
it is showing that uh, we have uh, selected a group of users then thereafter in users there were so many things uh, all the users and all things it is shown then it is saying we have uh, selected the OU new networks we have selected this network security group board of director everything so yes the, this was our selection and uh, we are right so we have reviewed everything right now we will click on next it is saying group displayed in the summary will be migrated to the device means from uh, active directory it will be imported to our firewall are you sure you want to continue yes click on ok after that you have to click on next I think it is processing so we don't need to touch just that close it and wait for some time mm, it should not take so much time to be very honest let's just try once more we will repeat the same step so most probably if it has taken it will give us a uh, yeah finally it has taken so we don't need to click on again it was taking some time okay so i haven't done it again if i would have done one time it would have given me error but successfully imported anyhow it took some time but it was done we haven't uh, repeated the same step so it is saying that import group is are successfully completed all the groups are imported successfully and attached to the selected policies imported group will be appended to the existing list of group close this wizard now we have completed step number two also where we have successfully imported all the groups from the active directory let's go to the group and over here you will see that before it was only three groups open group client less open group and guest group which were pre-configured groups now all these groups you can see are being imported from active directory to your firewall appliance see all these groups uh, are being imported right so guys that was all about the integration of active directory with our sophos xg firewall in the coming tutorial we will be configuring identity awareness rule that is a user based authentication rules in our firewall so if you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and do share with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.